Hello viewers, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about button event handling. So what are the different ways to handle the click events of a button? When the user click on a button or a press on a button, the button object is going to receive an on click event. So this event can be handled in two ways. One is through an on click attribute of your XML layout in a button widget, or maybe using the on click listener of an activity. So, how we can handle through the on click attribute in the XML layout? So, in our button widget code, we are going to add on click attribute so that it will have the value for this is going to be the name of the method. So, let us say, load button, unload image, send a message, this kind of things. So the method implementation must happen in respective to the hosting activity. So when you add a name to this particular on click that has send a message, that send a message method is going to be implemented inside the activity, the connected activity. So there on click attribute won't work. See, when you're working with the fragments, so when you add on click attribute to the button, it's not going to work. So that is a disadvantage with this. The other way to implement is using on click listener handler. So the click event handler through programmatically is most preferred. Why? Because it can be used both for activities as well as for the fragments. So in the programmatic way, we have two ways to handle this. One is implementing the view dot on click listener on an activity. So the, with the help of implements keyword, even that can be implemented for fragments as well. Or else you can create a new anonymous view on click listener inside the cluster. When you're handling this click functionality or the handler or event, we are going to load the views from layout to activity using find view by ID method. So this is going to take a reference of that particular widget like r dot id dot the button id whatever we have provided in the xml layout let us suppose you have more than one button so in that case if whenever we are handling with more than one button so to handle the click events we are use switch case we will see this particularly in our future sessions now let's see a small example of this open your android studio go to file new new project select empty activity change the project name to button handler demo. Click on finish. It will take some time to load the project. The gradle build is running. Process running. Project has built successfully. The first and foremost thing in any project is to work with layout code or the design code. So, I'm just going to take relative layout, which is most preferred. And I do not want any text views here. I'm creating a simple example in such a way when the user click on a button, it's going to load an image. So I'm just creating a button. So we already know how to do this. I'm just taking match parent height as wrap content I'm taking. So I'm just taking a text for that button. So here, the text is going to be like load. So that is a string difference. You can say load. There is no such thing. That's why we have to create it. I can say that as load image. So close your button. Till here, we already know that how to handle and how to how does it works. But what is the next thing? The first one I'm working with is on click attribute. So inside your on click attribute, just provide the name of the message, sorry, uh, action for the on click. So that is going to be what it's going to load the image. So please do follow the Java Java naming convention or whatever the camel case uh, things. The name should start with lowercase, and every word, like next word, should start with capital letter. 
So this is show, showing an error. Why? Because the corresponding method had the public void load image not found in this. So it is missing in the activity. Which activity? The connected activity is main activity. How do you know this? You are loading it here. Activity main underscore dot XML file. Now just simply here, Alt Enter is a shortcut key or go with the red bulb. So you'll find an option called create load image in main activity. That's all. The method stub has been created. So you are going to handle the things here. But what you what you should do after you clicked here. So for now, I'll show you only with a toast whether it has been clicked or not. Inside this main activity, load image method, I'm going to call a toast. Toast is a simple, a small rotation to the user as part of the application progress. So toast dot make text, it will take some parameters like context is nothing but this comma the message whatever you want to show it to the user. I'm just going to say button clicked. And the third parameter is the duration, how long you want to show it. So for this we have two parameters, length long and length short, which is predefined. I'm just taking that as length long. And to show this toast, you have to call show method. Done. So just run your project for that first. Click on this. AVD is getting started. So starting AVD notation, you can see here. Connecting the emulator now. All done. The project gradual build is working here. Launching activity. So I got a button called load image. Click on this, showing like button click. The default location of the toast is bottom center. When I click the button, button clicked, toast is coming. So it is working perfect. The on click. Now the next thing is going to see. I would like to load the image. So how can I do that? I need an image view, right? Image view. With wrap content, height is also wrap content I am taking. For this image, I am not giving any uh, source at all. Just simply, I'll provide an ID, at right plus ID. Just you can say like sample image is an ID underscore. You have to keep, and the content description is mandate as we already know that. Just provide the content description. If you want to see whether that has been created or not, it's, it's showing here. So let's align this center in parent with the parent relation we are going with now. Boolean value true. So now the image has been given here. I have not yet set anything. So the image is going to be loaded here. Now, whenever you are accessing any of the particular widgets you added in the layout, if you are adding if you want to access them to the Java code, you must load them first. How will you load this? Using a find view by ID method. So that we will discuss now. So the second method we are going for. What is the second method? Using the event handling. So that will be covered here. Now. So I'm, I don't want to work with the load image. Just uh, keep this in comments. Forward slash star. Here again, star forward slash. This is like multi line commenting. Sorry, it's already given. Yeah, now the second way is through the event handler. So, for this, on click is showing an error. It's okay, no problem. Now, let's create an ID for the button because I want to access it in my activity at that ID place. I'm just taking it as load underscore button. As yesterday in our previous sessions, as I told you, a BTN or a button can be prefix or suffix, whatever it is. Load button. I have to load it. How will you load that? Using the find view by ID method. With the difference of an ID. Now, what type of the view you are trying to load? That is button. Create an object for this load button. So when you are trying to add the IDs, use underscores in the XML. If you are trying to add a 
images or objects sorry uh, ids are objects follow the java naming conventions i'm just going like this load button second word should be capital now use find view by id method which is going to find a view by its id so how i can access with the resources r dot the type of the resource is id the name of the id is like what load button so now i got this so here i can handle it so there are two ways again here one is through the implementation of on click so directly you can add implements keyword which listener you would like to go for on click listener you need not to type view dot on click listener and all just simply type capital o you'll find this on click listener and add view dot view select it it will throw you an error just go to the red bulb implement the methods because we are using implements keyword the respective methods has to be implemented what is the method we have only on click just simply click on okay button this method sub has been created in this on click you are going to handle your work something like what this toast message now run your project so it's showing an error what it is changes were applied adding or remaining resource requires an application restart reload it Re reinstall and restart the application yeah it has been successfully done when i click on load image it's force closing the app is closing right go to lockcat and see what is the problem as an expert already i know what is the problem so just go to error so directory doesn't exist that is with uh, another one i need our particular applications one so where it is you can see here com.edida button handler demo could not find a method load image view in a parent or ancestor on click attribute so that is where i have added an on click attribute in my java code so just i'm going to comment this for now or you can remove whatever it is let's do commenting otherwise because i can reuse it later so this has been commented now let me check any error yeah just uh, do one thing the closing of the button should be closed properly yeah now i'm running the project click on load button nothing happened earlier it used to show button click why it's not happening anything because i did not i have just loaded the view i set the on click but i have not yet set it to the button so i need to set it to the button using set on click listener so we have only two methods in any technology that is set method and get methods means setter and getter methods now for this load button i would like to set something what do you want to set a listener which type of the listener it is on click listener so you'll find it here on click listener that has been already implemented by you here in the the class statement so just simply pass this so automatically you can see here on click is happening here now run your project again yeah load button click now in the real time we will load either images or maybe the text so that's why instead of applying only a toast i would like to take an image which already i have given here so the first load that particular image view here now please make sure that when you are loading views all at one place put a comment something like this as a type loading views the first view is button the second view is image view so image view that is icon i am taking and please make sure that don't go for the global words or the basic keywords just make it as a uh, i'll go for pick the sample image let's make it img find view by id r dot id dot the id which i have created is sample image i think yeah it is sample underscore image so please make sure the difference so in the xml codes you use underscores to differentiate the words and when you are working in the java please make sure it is uh, 
attached or uh, bumped each other. So every next word should be capital letter. So I got this. When the user click on this, instead of the first, the image should be loaded. So where to the sample image? But I am not able to refer this because this became a class a local variable here for this method. But I need a global variable. So I'm just adding them like this. Create a global variables, image view. So that is already we have taken sample image. And for the button as well, I'm doing the same thing for button. It is going to be load button. Why does it work here? Because we are using the on click and the connecting click functionality. The handler call is here. Now just remove this. When you have uh, implementation inside a method and uh, you are declaring a global variables, it has a more priorities for the local variables. So let's make you will be able to access now. So you can see here. Now, what is the sample ima image view? ID is sample img dot. I would like to set something. So what do you want to set? Uh, simple set you don't know what to set you can see here sim set image drawable set image bitmap okay set background something like that so i want to set an image drawable so as it is a drawable reference we'll use r dot drawable dot some um, i see larger background or whatever it is it is not working here set image drawable is throwing an error what the required is a drawable provided is an integer. So how can we work with? Just simply change your method. So before going to that, let's take an image and place it here. I'm going to get my image. Copy the image that you want to refer. Place it in a drawable folder. Please make sure in a plain drawable folder. Done. Now here, image view dot sample image dot. It should have set image drawable. I will go for set image resource. So here it is set image resource. The input it is taking as an integer. So now now it's worked better. R dot drawable dot D I'm taking. So when the user click on a button, it's going to load an image into the image view called sample image. Now run your project. Installing, launching activity. Now click on a load button. That image has been loaded here. Okay, so this is how you'll work with. And the same thing here, when you are working with the load image, so where it is, Image view is here on click attribute, right? Load image dot on click. So the same way you can work here. Just remove this. Load image, which already we have created. I kept it in comments. Now just remove this. I would like to comment this particular on click now. So here, the same you are going to sample image dot set image resource r dot drawable dot there. So now run your project again. So you do not require on click listener because when I am using implements on click listener, there should be a on click method must be implemented. So that is why it's throwing an error like this. What main activity is not abstract and does not override abstract method on click in on click listener. So this is how it will give you everything in Java line number along with. Just when you click here, the automatically the control will come to the respective line where it has an error. Just for time being, I'm removing this. Now run your project again. Okay, so now it's showing an error. Let's comment it. 
you can do two individual programs for this but i have just explained everything in single example load it's working okay this is how we work with button event handling so in two ways using the xml's on click attribute and the view dot on click listener event handler of the java code now just i'm uh, control z and remove this commenting as well so now test when these two things has been implemented which is working when you click on a load image button can i have both now let us see load image it's working how would you know that which particular uh, method stuff has been worked whether on click or this view implementation part as we already discussed the highest priority is for the on click listeners with set on click listener handler so that is where it has been implemented when you click on a load image button okay guys that's all about button event handler let's catch up in the next session thanks for watching